making headway, but this thing is awful. What do you think, Kyle? It's horrible. It's horrible. I have put together a ton of stuff, and this this one is at the top of my list for the worst. Like, no joke. Yeah. Like, I'm ready to go inside. This has just been... This is it not went, fun. It's, not it's windy. It's, it's getting cold. We cut our fingers. Y'all need my chicken measuring tape. It'll, it'll only go like two feet long. Okay, so right now we're gonna mark where I'm wanting to put my gate, which I'm planning on. We, I'd like to do the gate in the middle of the front of our garden. So I'd like to have like fence, fence, and then where Kyle's out a gate, and then a fence all the way down to where Bryston is. Okay, let's go mark the middle of that one over there, bub. So the gate's gonna, your little gate's gonna be like somewhere else. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be like your, your entrance. Yes. Then we go back there, we'll mark the middle of that, and we'll do the greenhouse spot over there. Yeah, okay. How about the same thing over here? Are you gonna put it the same distance back there? Yeah, I'm just gonna mark the center, and then we'll put the greenhouse wherever it's gonna be, and I just wanna mark the center. Of the yeah. Butt crack showing. Yeah, right. <laughs> the greenhouse will be here. It's gonna be like a 10 by 12 inside. Is that how big it is? The 10 by 12? Or is it a 6 by 8? Probably 6 by 8 actually. Because I didn't want to get one too big since it's my first one. I don't remember which one, what size we got. Can you get me? Hey, Ellie. You helping? Yeah. So while I'm in here making us some quesadillas for lunch, Ellie's in here sampling everything, aren't you, Ellie? You're sampling the cheese. We sliced up some cucumbers for us. <laughs> Bear, where are you at? Bear. Is that good? Yeah, is that good? Kyle's out there. And I'm about to 
to walk out there and get him videoed and show y'all what he's up to. How's it going in here, Ellie? Good. Yeah. Going good? I had to have two pairs of tongs because I sat that one in here on the edge and then I grabbed it and I burned myself. That was not fun. I love this meat. I got this meat at Trader Joe's and it is so good. It shaves really thin and it's perfect for like whatever you want to use it for. I like to use it in quesadillas. I'm making kind of like a Philly cheesesteak type quesadillas today. That's why I put some mushrooms and I kind of threw in whatever I wanted. Mushrooms and some bell pepper and onion, garlic, and then these really thin pieces of the meat. Look. Look at that. So good. I'm so hungry. I'm almost hangry. I am seriously, I'm almost hangry. I'm super excited to try out the big, large block of the Swiss cheese I got from Azure. It's one of the big blocks of cheese. Cheeses that I got, one of many. So we're gonna see how it tastes. I'm doing that on here. Ellie's got her paint kit. Heidi bought it for her at the dollar store, so she's ready to paint that. What is it, Ellie? Ladybug. It's Ladybug, miraculous. Ellie loves Ladybug, huh? <laughs> what are you up to out here? I'm in there making lunch. Yeah, because I'm hungry. You are? Yes. You had a huge breakfast. Well, I've been working doing this. I'm, I'm extra hungry again for lunch. What do you think? Looks good. I'm ready to do my vision in the front. Yeah, well, that's good. It'll, be, it'll be wood eventually <laughs> up there. But this is for the chickens to get them out of here so we can start planting because we're going to miss our spring you know, opportunity there. Did you measure this? No, I mean, this is six by eight. Hey, did you talk about this table? No, I did not. Let me show you a new table we got. Yeah. This is, this is a fun find yeah, at a that's state a, sale. That's an actual potting table. All the holes in there for a greenhouse. We yeah. found that at a state sale. It's like $100, wasn't it? Yeah. 85 100 I don't remember. It was, I think it was like 100 bucks. That's a good deal. So that's going to fit perfect in here. Yeah, because it's stainless steel. Yeah, it's going to be perfect in here. So it's just one less thing I have to build now. With uh -huh. the midst of everything else going on. So it'll save me some time. But yeah, well, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to get the pavers going here. And then start trying to see if I can assemble this, which will be entertaining. Because this stuff's always fun, you know, and you get a box of... How, how does a six by eight greenhouse fit in here? I told you, I, I don't no know. Idea. Is that the picture of it? This is it, yeah. There was a video on, uh, I mean, not a video, a review. Someone said online they love it, but it took their husband like eight hours to put it together. Let's hope this does not take me eight hours, but the camera will tell because it's like, what? What is it, 12 right now, sunshine? No, it's like And then later on, it's going to be dark. We're I'm hungry. Like, yes, I'm done. And it's going to be pitch black outside. Then you know it took me all day. Oh so gosh. Let's hope it's like two or three hours. Are you planning on doing the whole thing today? Yeah, I want to get the stones set here. Now, I don't have to even do that. But I just want to have some kind of floor for you to walk on, you know? Yeah. So I'll try no, to level we it definitely out. need a floor. Yeah, we'll level it out here and get the get that done first and then start on this. Okay. That's the plan. All the guineas are way back there in that tree. You hear them all? Yeah, they're having a party. So, you going to stay out here and help me do this? I'm making lunch. You're gonna bring me some lunch and then help me do this? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll bring you lunch and nice then I'll go back once, inside. Once done, so I'm gonna start setting all this stuff up. I'm excited about these. I found these at Costco and it's a two pack. How much did I pay for these? Uh, it wasn't know. much at all. Hey, you got, the only reason you got them because they were such a good deal. Yeah. Because was... we're doing what you tell me we're doing. We're doing some raised beds out here. Yes. Don't know where yet. They're just sitting here. And then we're going to do some big wooden raised beds somewhere in here. That you're going to build. That I'm going to build because those. Because you built, built me some last time yeah, at those our are last so, house. Yeah, those are so easy. And you can put so much in them too. So we're going to do those somewhere in here. And of course we're going to do in-ground. So in a mix of everywhere in here, we'll have the raised beds, the in-ground, and we're doing the greenhouse inside. So eventually this whole vision will start coming together. I hope. It will. It's going to be nice. Let's hope the deer can't, well, I know the deer can jump it. Let's hope that they don't want to jump it. Oh gosh. And then we'll be raising this somehow. Do I don't that. think that they will. I don't know. So we have the deer You just had to do what Katie and Michael did and they, she, didn't they uh, go out there like the boys, they all went out there and peed around their garden. Yeah, we are not doing that. <laughs>
Yeah, our deer lay right there at the feeder every morning. They'll be out there laid in the grass. So they're they're always right here. Let's just hope if we keep the feeder going, maybe they won't have a need to come in here and eat all of our uh, We'll see. Garden we'll stuff. have to put a camera out here to aim it on the garden. Hi, Furby. Follow me everywhere. All right, I'm going to get Feed busy. my man. Get on in here, show you guys what I'm talking about with this greenhouse I got going on. So, first off, I don't have enough of the, the pavers. So I'm about to go and get more of those. I'm not, I should have probably laid sand down to level it more, but this is a small greenhouse. Not over stressing on this, just something to walk on versus being on dirt. So I'll kind of level these out some more throughout today. But look at this. Good gracious. It's just part after part. Part inside a part. This is going to take me forever. Look at all that. Wow. Apparently got to fish the gaskets through and all that. So, not really happy about how uh, time consuming this is going to be. So, we'll, um, instead of leaving this camera going all day, I'm going to start slapping this together. And come back towards the end once I have it fully at least assembled and then I'll set it over here somewhere um, I gotta get some more pavers but I want to get this together and I think that's gonna take me a lot a lot longer than I was thinking it is good gracious so I'm gonna try to knock this out and I'll cut the camera back on later today and see how much progress I made I don't know, Kyle. Am I ready? Yes, yeah, she's ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> yes, you are. I I'm went, not. I went and drug her out here because she's going to help me with this greenhouse. Yes, yes, you are. You said so. you were going to do this. <laughs> I'm in there eating, and you come in there and rain on my parade of eating. Yep, yeah, and I, I needed to recruit some help with this. One, because it's windy, and two, because there's 500 different parts. So Seriously. You see all what? this? Look at this. I was just videoing all. Look, I mean, look at the stuff in here. tiny little boxes together. No, we're gonna knock this out. So, I brought her out here because me and her are gonna work together and get this thing built before eight hours. I it am should be not, four hours, the I two of us. I am not doing this, yeah. are you serious? Yeah, let's get some, get, you're gonna help me with this. What? Be a piece of cake with two people, huh? Wait, yeah, huh? No. So, so we're gonna knock this out. And uh, and when we come back now, when we turn it on, get back, um, when we come back and turn the camera on, we'll have this greenhouse done, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we will. We are about what about two hours in, Meredith? Two and a half hours. I guess. How, do you, how long do you think we've been doing this? <laughs> a while. And now we, we got know. we got the whole crew out here because this is a all hands-on job, as we found out. So we're we're getting there. There's just a lot more pieces than we were thinking there the was. The instructions are very interesting. Yeah, and, yeah, and let alone if you're a long, it's like a 40 page <laughs> booklet. If you're a person of little words, then these instructions are for you, because there's no words. But we're getting there, so quick update on, on the status, about two, maybe three, three and a half hours in, and we're, gonna, we're determined to get this done. We got the geese out here with us. That's Tom and Sheila. There, are you helping? Yeah, you said two hours in, now you're saying right. three hours in? We're probably, we're probably three hours in. I don't feel like we're three hours in, no way. I think maybe two, if, if that. Well, either way. I feel like we're knocking it out. Two or three hours in, making it's progress. We're going to keep going at it. You cleaning your car? Ellie's old car, so it's pink. What are you getting, Ellie? One more nut. You've been helping with all the nuts and bolts, huh? Yeah. You're earning your money. There they are, my feet were Furby. 
He's geese. We're making headway, but this thing is awful. What do you think, Kyle? It's horrible. It's horrible. I have put together a ton of stuff. And this, is, this one is at the top of my list for the worst. Like, no joke. Yeah. Like, I'm ready to go inside. This has just been... This is it not fun. It it's it, windy. It's getting cold. We cut our fingers. It doesn't seem like much, but there's like 5,000, no joke, like 5,000 pieces to this. And the directions are horrible. Ugh, this, Awful directions. Yes. So, well, we're getting there. There's tons of stuff. But I mean, height, the size of this is going to be perfect for you out here. The sun's starting to go down, see? There's your geese again. They've been here the whole time. But it's... we're not going to finish this today. So what? We're, we're going to cut. What? Come, as far Why? as. Like, You're so full no, 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 of it. We'll get all this done, but we won't have that done. Like the base, and we won't have Oh, uh, yeah. Set. And I, I got to anchor it down, definitely. So tomorrow we'll do all that. <laughs> but we'll finish. We'll come back tomorrow and wrap everything up. All right, let's let's. So, since you're so this. tired, I could go all night, but you, you're clearly, whatever. You clearly want to throw in the towel, so. All right, let's we'll finish this. Come back tomorrow. Day two, and we're back at it. Got me and Meredith out here and Bear. So so far, we've got almost all. We got finished the roof up here, and it's like a window we're gonna put over here. Maybe on that side. I'm not sure yet. Wherever Meredith wants to put it for the sun. So actually, I know it'll be on that side. Um, and we've got the blocks in here. We spaced them out the best we could. I'm gonna put anchors on each of these posts somehow, because this thing's just a wind trap out here. So I'll figure that out when we're done. But we spaced our stones out inside. Good morning, Bear. You riding your bike? What are you doing? So temporarily spaced this out. We're going to end up doing pea gravel all in here. She's also probably going to plant some stuff down there down the road. Um, so the pea gravel and the stone, stepping stones, it's probably going to come together nice. And we put our potting table in here. So that's where we're at right now. We're gonna finish getting the door on here, the roof's on here, and then at the very end, anchor this down. It's beautiful outside. Extra windy though, huh? So windy. So windy, huh? It's always windy. That's why I've gotta make sure we get this auger down. I think I'm gonna put T-posts. Like one, two, three, four T-posts, drive them down, and then maybe drill some holes into these supports here and then wire those T-posts on there and then probably paint them to match, like aluminum paint. That's my thoughts anyways. We'll see how it goes when we get to that point. But we're gonna knock it out real quick, so hang tight. All right, we officially got it all the way built. Window up top. We did it this way because the sun rises in the morning over here. So that's where Meredith wanted it, that's where we put it. Got everything inside of it. And now we're gonna run to Lowe's to get the pea gravel to put all that in there. Meredith, you ready? Bear, we going? And we're gonna get that pea gravel in there, wrap that up, and now I'm gonna anchor this down. You got a flower? Good ass now. To get or not to get? It's going to be a not to get. I'm just going to build one. I think you should just build one. Extra large ferns. Which we weren't even here to get. We came on a mission for but pea gravel. But that's fine because pea gravel I'm mission. always looking for the really big ferns. Now we're going to go find, yeah, pea gravel. They didn't have any of that. But we found a whole new pallet over there on the side, right? Yeah, I might just go out there and have them cut open and we'll load it outside. What else are we getting? Spray paint? <clears throat> yeah, some spray paint and a couple T-posts. Some short, smaller T-posts. Bear likes Bear's this. loving this because we're, you're letting him go and he's not in the cart. Hey Kyle, there's an adjust-a-gate. Yeah, it's it's adjustable. It's not. I like I like the look of this though. I probably those in. There it is. We're gonna have to get that for bear. What do you think? Good luck trying to take it from him. Nope. Here's an open one. The lady told you they, they had, had zero. They had none in the inventory and look it. Well, she still let you pay for them. She did. Well, she told me there was none here. <gasps> I guess yeah. she said if, if they didn't have it, then come back. Look at they got tons over here. Yeah, they, they have tons. That's weird. 
Then we come well, that's here good. for pea gravel and my stuff, and look what we somehow managed to get plants again. Yeah, but these are really pretty. Look how pretty those are. Never can we go to Lowe's or somewhere that has plants and not leave with the plant. But got a big garden to fill up, right? Hey, you fenced it in, so now my chickens won't get all my stuff that I get. I don't want the ones with all the holes. Yeah, I was spilling out of that one. This stuff stinks. You smell it? No, it's probably just you. Yeah. yeah. I smelled it earlier too when you were building the greenhouse. It's dripping. It's all wet. Oh, no, no, no. Did you end up getting that? Yeah, you did, huh? Yeah, you Can got your pull noodle. Can you say noodle? Yes, you did. Bear, you say, silly. Say noodle. He did say noodle. No. Noodle, that's right. You got yourself a pool noodle. This turned out real nice. Look at the, We're going to have so much we're going to be doing in here. So me and Meredith got the greenhouse fully knocked out today. I'm super excited about that. But the whole perimeter garden fencing slash chicken perimeter, chicken proof fence is all up. Um, all the way around. We're going to do something different with the front of this. Down the road, this is just to get us going right now. I know I have bigger, I have a lot of plans in here. Me and Meredith both do. I have a lot of things that I want to get done for her though. Um, but for now, to keep the chickens out, we got this fully set up. I'm gonna put a gate there and we're gonna start getting this done. But she's got dinner going, so we're wrapping it up for today. Let me give you guys a, a real close up view of how this greenhouse turned out. So real quick, I'm gonna use this metallic spray paint here. So I got these four posts in the ground here. I'm gonna spray paint these all this color and I will show you why I'm doing this here in a minute once we get back to the greenhouse. But it's done for Meredith. Got that thing finally, I'm gonna say anchored down the way I like it, which I'm gonna show you guys because the way that I came up with anchoring this is um, something I haven't seen yet online. So I figured I would come up with a different idea, throw it out there, maybe get some good, uh, good feedback on it. And hopefully someone else will use this down the road. But like I said, the greenhouse is done. Um, this I got from Meredith a while ago for her uh, 100 subscriber challenge we did just between me and her. We're joking about 100 subscribers and that came really quick. So I got her the greenhouse. I've been way behind as far as putting it together and putting it up for her. But we have managed to, together, even with all the kids on board this weekend, get this thing put together. It was a pain in the butt. There is no denying it. This thing was horrible as far as the directions go. And the parts, there must have been 5,000 parts to this greenhouse. Um, so I had Meredith out here helping. We had all the kids, like I said, they were enjoying, not enjoying, working with us, sometimes uh, working against us, but we got this thing done, right? So the greenhouse is in here. Let me show you guys how we did this. So what we did was we did pea gravel in the bottom along with some big paver stones. And the reason we did that was because if she's watering and stuff in here, we want some kind of a way to like let it drain, not just hold it. We, we originally had all the pavers measured out and lined out in here, so it's just concrete on the bottom. But we like the pea gravel look a lot better, actually. And I think it'll be more beneficial for her in here. She's already got stuff on her table. But we got this set up, got our window in there. That's when the sunrise is on this side. She wanted it over there, so it worked out perfect. Got the pea gravel down there, the paved stones. Got that cool potting table I found. And an estate sale with her, got a really good deal on that. And it's stainless, so it's just perfect for in here. Perfect size. But the greenhouse is a, it's a six by eight, and, and I'm tall, and I could just barely fit in here. But for me, it's still doable. So for her, it's perfect. Um, and as far as the anchors go, let me step back, show you guys. If you're looking at it, we have a lot of open land back here. I got this, we did a big garden, so the chicken wire, all, I'm a chicken wire, the panel wire all the way around is for the chickens. Is there a way over there? So we don't, we don't want them in here, right? So I did this whole perimeter all the way around. It's going to be all garden, in-ground, raised beds, you name it, we're going to be doing it in here. So we got a big area. Put the greenhouse centered where we walk in because we have plans down the road for that. So we did this centered with a path that's going to go to it. And... The reason that I did an auger, not an auger, an anchor system on this a little differently than most people probably would is because of this flat land out here. So the wind, even like right now, it is just really windy and it's a normal day. So this 
is just like a big light wind sail ready to go. Um, so what I did was I painted some T post and I drove them down two feet in the ground and then I came in here and drilled some small holes right on each side and the reason being was because I wanted to grab this main frame right here the support of the whole greenhouse I wanted to get in on all four sides so I got a post drove here I got a post drove back here same on the other side so I got four of those that is but I call it cowboy wire just did some wire and I just did a twist on it so that in here I tucked it over for Meredith and the kids so they don't get poked and all the way down this thing is now secure on all four posts so if this thing goes it's not going to be the frame the frame will be here all that stuff will probably be gone in the wind if something was to happen I feel very confident in this and I think this is actually a good idea I'm giving myself a pat on the back I hope I get some good feedback on this I could have done some kind of a, a strap and like a ground auger the big um, like the big screw types the augers uh, there's a bunch of different ways to do this but I like this as I painted them to match so all four of those on all four sides match the actual aluminum the frame of the greenhouse so I'm gonna do a walk around I think this is pretty nice she's gonna have some fun with this so got it done check it off the list finally so we're all good here at that um, and wrap some stuff up out here with Bubba I'm coming Bubba I see you uh, close it down for today but that's done yes off my list we have a big to-do list out here and that's one of them so got that done we're gonna start moving on with the garden still have plenty of plans up front with our pin uh, it's way way up there way up there is where our pin is we made in a couple other videos so gonna get that done um, but now we're focused on this because spring is right it's here so we've got to start planting stuff in order to make this beneficial this area for us and our family but greenhouse is done let me know what you guys think of that Again, I don't recommend getting this one. It looks amazing, but we got it off of Wayfair. I want to say it was like the Palamona or Palamonia 6x8 PAL something or another. 6x8 hybrid greenhouse. Looks nice. Now it's done. Horrible to put together. I won't, I would never get this again. I'm being that's just the blunt, honest truth. Horrible to put together. I like how it is now. Don't recommend it though. It's just way too much work. Um, but anyways, we're done with that. So if you like this video, leave me a comment on the, uh, the augers, the post I put in there. Let me know your thoughts on that. Is it going to stay there? Um, lightweight greenhouse with those holding it down. So I'm curious to see what your opinion is on that. And please like and subscribe our videos, guys. We appreciate each and every one of you. God bless. Have a good one.